Welcome to the AH-64D Basic Flight Training Startup. You begin on the helicopter ramp at Kutusi Air Base. This training will be performed from the pilot's position. Unless otherwise indicated, most highlighted button presses and spacebar presses will immediately forward the lesson to the next step. On your first time through the training, it is recommended that you listen fully to each set of instructions before taking the action that will move the training lesson forward. When you are ready to continue, press the spacebar. Take a look at the cockpit from left to right. Check or set. Left console. Set. External light panel. Nav lights bright. Check. Anti-collision lights off. Power levers off. Engine start switches off. NVS mode switch off. Main panel. Check. Park brake set handle out. Both MPDs are set today. Windshield wiper is in park. Right side. Set master communications volume 50%. When ready to continue, press the space bar. Close the canopy. When the canopy is secure, press the space bar to continue. On the left console, switch Master Ignition to BAT. Check Tailwheel button, Verified Locked Light Off. Emergency Hydraulic button, Light Off. External and Internal Light Panel, press Press to Test, Illuminates All Signal Lights. When finished, press the spacebar to continue. Fire detection and extinguisher panel test. Set the test switch to position one. Check. Master warning illuminates. Engine one, APU, and engine two fire buttons are illuminated. Aft deck fire warning is displayed on the EUFD. Listen for voice warnings. Release the test switch. Press master warning to acknowledge and cancel. Finish, press the space bar to continue. Engine 1 fire, engine 2 fire, APU fire, aft deck fire. APU start, APU button, guard up, press and release button. Engine 1 fire, engine 2 fire, APU fire, aft deck fire. On the EUFD, observe some of the following advisories. APU start, APU power, accumulator oil pressure low, update heading. As the APU brings power to the aircraft, these advisories will go out. APU on will appear. Also, the MPDs will activate and the HDU monocle will show symbology. By now, the APU should be powering the radios. Use the Communications menu and request permission to start engines with Communications menu F5, F1, F3. After receiving permission, exit from the comms menu F12. Then continue by pressing the spacebar. Kutasi. Colt 2-1, request startup. Colt 2-1, Patisi, clear for startup. On the left console, set anti-collision lights to white. On the left MPD, ensure the engines page is displayed. Press the spacebar to continue. On the right MPD, bring up the fuel page by first pressing push button MB1 until you see the display menu page. 
been pressed fuel before. You will always start engine one first. On the left console, engine start switches set number one switch to start. On the left MPD, watch the number one engine in G percentage. When it reaches 20%, move the left power lever to idle. Press Master Warning to acknowledge and cancel. As the engine passes NG 52%, the starter will turn off. Once engine 1 has stabilized around NG 66%, press the spacebar to continue. Repeat the start procedure for the right engine. Engine start switch number two to start. At engine two in G 20%, right power lever to idle. Press master warning to acknowledge and cancel. Watch for engine two to stabilize around NG 66%. Then press the space bar to continue. With both engines stabilized, smoothly bring both power levers forward to the fly position. Both engine in G should advance and stabilize near 85%, and P should stabilize at 101%. On the EUFD, the low rotor RPM warning should disappear. Press the spacebar to continue. Rotor RPM low. Rotor RPM low. On the left MPD, press push button B2 system. Check that all engine systems are within limits, shown as green. Check that both generators are online. When satisfied all is operating properly, return to the engine display by pressing B2 system again. Then press the spacebar to continue. Turn off the APU by pressing the APU button. The illuminated APU should extinguish. Press the spacebar to continue. Bring up the TSD on the right MPD with the TSD push button. Congratulations! You have completed a basic start of the AH-64D. Press escape to end the lesson.